Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Gray, and I'm finally back once again. I am so bad at this. It's been a long time, again. I do this every video. I'm sorry. I have been, well, first of all, filmed that last video. Next week or so, got the flu, so I was dying for like two weeks. Then I'm like finally getting to feel better, and I just have no motivation. Sorry. I thought it'd be funny if I told you guys a little story of something that I experienced when I was 13. Um, it's pretty funny in my opinion. If it's not funny, then I'm Ooh. fucking sorry. I, I'm trying really hard. <coughs> and... <coughs> okay, it's gonna be a story time. Uh, yeah, fun. Hmm. Let me just, let me just get right into it. So basically, One Direction was having a concert outside of the Today Show. I'm pretty sure it was GMA, some shit Ooh. like that. And um, my mom was like, oh my god, that'd be so fun if we went. So I was like, okay, let's go. Like, get the tickets, we'll like go. I didn't think it'd be as difficult as it turned out to be. But anyways, so she won the tickets or whatever she did, I don't know. And I was so excited because I was going to see them back to back. Because I was going to see them, I was going to see them one day. And then the next day I had like their actual concert and like met like... Apparently, when you have to go to these Today Show things, people usually wait overnight so you can get like front row. And, um, I mean, I knew that and I was prepared for it, so, I mean, what's, what can I say? I'm an up-all-nighter kind of guy. We went to New York City around, like, 12 a.m., and, um, we had to sit there until the show started at, like, 7. So, we got in line, we bought, like, our little fucking fold-out chairs, you know, eating, snacking, talking to new people. Um, there was a news crew I got on TV. If I can find that picture, I'll put it in. I look like a fucking idiot, uh, because I was depressed. And uh, it was tired and I, it was fucking late. So if I could find that, I'll put it here. But otherwise, just imagine this sad face at fucking 1 a.m. on the news. As the night goes on, I'm getting, uh, getting more cranky, but I'm getting more excited because, like, I'm gonna see my boys two days in a row. Like, who doesn't want that? But um, I noticed my stomach starts to hurt. I'm like, okay, like, fun, like, great, like, just what I need. Stomach starts to hurt, and then all of a sudden, the whole entire, like, sky, like, fucking lights up. No one was prepared for this whatsoever. It just started torrentially like downpouring. Ooh. Fucking hurricane status, like Hurricane Katrina, like hi. It was like Hurricane Sandy Part 2. Um, there was fucking Ooh. lightning, thunder, like I thought I was gonna die. Like we were all underneath these trees in this uh, park by Central Park. I could be very wrong. So it's fucking torrentially downpouring. My clothes are drenched. I'm in such a bad mood because my stomach's killing me. I just got fucking rained on. I've been standing for like fucking six hours or something. And I'm fucking depressed because uh, who wouldn't be depressed if you look like the way I did? So that's fun. As like the night went on, there'd be like people in VIP like showing up like dry as hell. Like they just fucking chill in there because they like were prepared for the rain. And they'd like show up at like 5 a.m. Meanwhile, our fucking poor asses were standing there at fucking 12 a.m. trying to get a fucking close view of them. The rain like finally kind of stops. And this one smart ass fucking woman fucking pulls up with her kid, tries to run to the front of the line, and she's like, no, I've been here all night. And all these fucking people are like yelling at her and screaming. They're like, she's not even fucking wet. Like we all just got fucking downpoured on. We just sat, literally sat through like a two hour like thunderstorm and this bitch has the audacity to just run up to the front of the line and be like, I was here. Like, fuck you. Like, literally, like, just go back home. Security like dragged her the fuck out. Thank God. Shout out to security. Because I was not about that. It's like 6.30 and everyone's like getting antsy because like we've been fucking standing out there forever. And so they start letting us in, but like the lines were like such a fucking mess. The whole entire night, it was like kind of like lined up like straight like lines. Like there was like some like fences for like the people that were been there like since like fucking like the day. Finally, as like the time came up for everyone to like go into the venue like area, all these people just started running up to the front of the line like and like trying to like squeeze their way through. Plus like there wasn't a lot of security guards, so they're like, trying to check everyone's bags and like trying to let everyone in. But thankfully, um, I got in. God bless America. Um, so my tired ass, soggy ass, looking sad face, made it in. Finally, I was so ready to see my boys. Finally, they come out. It's getting really hot out now. It's fucking like 7 a.m. I'm tired. I'm soggy. Now the sun's coming out. I'm starting to sweat. Just felt something. Just, just a little something. Just, just a little. 
as they're like fucking performing drag me down all these bitches like hey hey drag me down and I'm like oh fuck no don't go to the porta potty because I was like I can't do this right now so I go to porta potty and um bitch got her period didn't have anything to use so I didn't come prepared so we just kept on bleeding so finally like their last like song rolled around on our set list and like I came back because I literally missed the whole entire fucking concert like I probably saw like three songs and um, I come back and um, I'm like yo mom like I'm bleeding like we gotta go home like fuck we were standing for like six eight hours at this point and I was just done I just wanted to go home and fucking lay in my bed and sleep but we had to go like walk like two blocks to get like a taxi to get to what the fuck is that place called? Grand Central. Grand Central. We finally got home. I was bloody as hell. Shorts were ruined. Everything ruined. It is the next day. And I go to Best Buy. Cause um for my birthday I wanted to get a camera. I'm like, I'm getting my first camera. I was so excited. Uh, I come home, I take it out of the box, it's fucking red. So uh already bad fucking day. Just fucking blew like $300 on a camera that's a red. Like, who, who wants a red camera? Ridiculous. Who the fuck wants a red camera? Anyways, we get home, drove to MetLife. The concert was MetLife. And, um, I was I charging my camera on the way there. I was like so fucking excited. And I knew that I had my period. Like, I, I was set. Like, I like had come prepared. Like, I brought like a little baggie so like I could like... This was like the concert like I've been waiting for the whole entire fucking year. Like this was like the moment, like the fucking moment of my life. So we got floor seats. Um, like if you've ever been to One Direction concert or you've seen like the videos, the stage is like, like back. And then like there's like a giant like walking, like catwalk. And then there's like another like strip up here for them to like usually sing on. They usually stay up here. And so there was like the row of people here and then I was like behind them. So I was like on the floor, like pretty damn close. And I was not giving up anything for those seats. I fucking, the whole entire time I stood there still. So concert begins. I'm just, I'm like talking to like, cause I came with a couple of friends. I'm talking to them. I'm like, like when's a good time to like go to the bathroom? Like, I don't want to miss anything good. And um, they were like, no, just wait. Like, it's okay. Like, you'll be fine. And so throughout the concert, I'm just having a good old time, like just like bump into One Direction, looking at Love My Life, Harry Styles, you know, all those beautiful boys. Took in some hella pictures, like good, good ass pictures. And so after that, like I didn't even, didn't even, didn't even, never went to the bathroom, never. Nope, never happened. So uh, yeah, you can probably imagine what happens next. Um, so we leave. Um, really tired because I've been uh, out and about for the past two days, 24 hours straight, just go, go, go. Um, 48, wow, I love math. I was just completely out of it. So we get in the car and I'm like passed the fuck out, like dead. I wake up from my little snooze sesh. We're still like driving home on the highway and I just get this sudden fucking urge to like piss. Like I was gonna like pee myself. And I look at my pants, two fucking pairs of jean shorts down the drain. The went back to sleep, uh, snoozed, and since then, been on birth control, fuck periods, fuck that shit. We don't like bleeding, not a good time. Not a good time to be alive, personally. But um, that's my that's my little bloody story. Action, if you're out there listening to me, get back together, get your heads out of your asses, and come give me some love and some new music. Moral of the story, just, Expect the unexpected and um, always be prepared for the worst. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a little comment down below. Can you please, please suggest me some videos? I'm lacking inspiration. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Good damn motherfucking bye bitches. Uh, you know,